Hey everybody, welcome back to another quarter in Japan where you get your daily dose of Japan news from your host, truly, Papa Tikyo, over here. And uh, yeah, well, we're live here in Japan right now. And I just want to say thank you guys again for checking out my Quarter in Japan channel. And don't forget to hit that, sub uh, that subscribe button as well as that like button so you can help us out with the algorithm. And write down a comment if there's any future news that you'd like me to cover, uh, you know, pertaining to Japanese news. And anyway, today we're going to be talking about hot Japanese chicks because, you know, that's what we cover here as well. Hot Japanese chicks. And uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? Boom. Okay, so today we're talking about a influencer called Yunkoro519. Uh, it says that, um, you know, she's a, she's a blogger. Uh, you know, she has, uh, the director, producer, anyway, she's, I don't know her whole backstory, but she has over 340,000 people following her on Instagram, and, uh, yeah, that's crazy, as you can see, look at her, man, she is just, she is just going to the gym, she is getting cut, dude, Calvin Klein sports bra, that's another nice thing, you can tell that she's going to a nice gym, because not that many women, I mean, I don't look like a guy who's been to a gym, but I've been to enough local, like, cheap gyms to know that women don't dress like this unless they go to a very expensive, exclusive gym, and, uh, yeah, you can see, she likes posting pictures of herself, and, uh, yeah, she just seems like another kind of Instagram chick here. Now, she came up on my recommended after I followed somebody else, uh, another, uh, female blogger slash, uh, influencer in Japan. And I was like, hey, I think I've seen this chick somewhere before. And I still don't know exactly where I might or might not have seen her. But anyway, uh, yeah, hey, damn it, thanks. Okay, yeah, can you make sure to close the door really hard? Thanks, Marvin. And, uh, yeah, sorry, guys. I got an order from Amazon today. Um, but anyway, yeah, as you guys can see, she is looking... She's tight. <laughs> you know, goddamn. She loves uh, working those assets of hers. But uh, anyway, um, I don't remember where exactly I saw her, so I was looking up more stuff about her online, and I saw right here, it says Yunkoro. On uh, Twitter, she's got over 84,000 people. Here and uh, she says, Juhasai Kara no Broga Katsudo o Tate, Genzai wa Kintore, DJ Fitness, uh, uh, Wea, um, brand, uh, Ira. So she, like, she's a blogger, DJ, whatever. She also has her own fitness brand, and as you can see right there, she's got some nice assets. And, uh, yeah, her Twitter's just talking about random stuff, you know, it's not really pushing any agenda. She's a YouTuber, apparently, too. Um, and yeah, it seems like all this is the same. Like they post sexy pictures on Instagram. They have a YouTube where they just collab with other people that are doing videos and stuff. And uh, but anyway, yeah. So I was looking deep, more deep into her and stuff, and looking at the like at her Wikipedia. And it says that she was born in 1990. Uh, her her you know uh, the name is Yunkoro. And um, anyway, uh, this is what she looked like by the way in her. Uh, in her picture, look at that. She's a bodybuilder. God damn, I don't know what to think about this, guys. You you let me know in the comments down below what you think about this picture right here, okay? But uh, anyway, it says that she's been in a bunch of different magazines here, just like every Japanese model. Uh, she's 31, so she's she's not that much uh, younger than me. She's 61 uh, centimeters, you know, and uh, she's been in um, magazines that are really popular. This is Ashi right here, magazine. It says egg men's egg men's egg youth these are really popular magazines and uh even i've read them because they used to have them at the convenience stores and they were revolved around men they also have uh ne age which is uh, ne ageha which is like uh shufu no shufu no yusha uh, this is basically um uh this is uh like uh, the women's version of a uh like kind of like you know girls talk magazine and Anyway, uh, but so I, I looked up stuff on blogs about her, and this is like, this is a blog of somebody talking. It says, like, Yunkoro no Shunyu Gen to wa Mikashi no Gazo, yeah, Gari Gari ni naru, uh, Shokuji menu, Hokano. Anyway, so this guy was basically kind of looking into her too, and he had this picture of her. I don't know if you guys can see this picture that well, but um, she did like a TV segment or something where uh, she showed what her face looks without makeup. 
And this was a while ago. And like, as you can see, it looks very different. But this guy's saying not only um, did she, uh, like, you know, like, not only does she look different with makeup, but she's probably had plastic surgery. Now, again, plastic surgery is not a big deal. I think if you want to look pretty and, uh, you know, this will help you, that's fine. But people that uh, in Japan, that's a big deal. Like, you know, in Asia, it's like if you had plastic surgery and you look weird or unnatural people and then you deny having plastic surgery, people are going to call you out for it. And I love it. This guy says, like, Kao ga kawari sugi, you know, mei ya hana ya kuchibiru no seike o mukashi no gazo de kensho. So he's like, let's look at her old pictures. He's got her profile over here anyway there's the picture picture and then it says oh look before look at this face oh wow like you know um and he says uh anyway like this is what her face looked like before and he's like wait what and he's like ah, just and uh anyway it's um you know uh yeah it is interesting like when she was on tv before she did one of those like makeup before and after pictures and this is the thing you guys got to be careful about i my first girlfriend i had here in japan i remember i slept over at her house and uh her parents were still living at the house with her and i just remember going in there and uh you know like i was like i was really worried because this is not only my first time sleeping over at a girl's house in japan but also her parents live there too so i was like what the fuck but you know anyway i'm, I'm downstairs playing super nintendo over little brother and then she comes out of the bathroom and this is the first time i ever saw her without makeup on and she, I was like, hey, are you, are you her, uh, Maiko's sister? And she's like, no, I'm Maiko. And I was like, stop playing around. And she's like, motherfucker. And I was like, oh my God, you are a completely different person without makeup on. So, you know, I mean, like, you know, we do live in a world where beauty is superficial and everyone focuses on that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, that is just a shout out for some random Japanese woman that I wanted to show you guys today. Tell me, what do you think about her? What do you think about, you know, her as a person? Is she your type? Is she not your type? Yes. Why? Why not? Uh, anyway, let me know in the comments down below. And if there's any other, like, female Japanese influencers and models that you think I should cover in these quartering series, let me know in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to smash the like button. Follow us on social media. And check, I'll see you on tomorrow's Ordering Japan Daily Dose News. Talk to you later. Stay black. Yeah, buddy. Boom. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go message this chick, slide into some DMs. Then I'm going to go to the same gym as her, get wrecked. And then we're going to build an empire together as Papa Tiko and Hot Japanese Woman. Yeah. Okay, guys. Break. There's nobody here. Yeah.